Musicians are always complaining that making music videos is so much work, and when I tell them that they need to make a music video for every single they release, I met with this exasperated groan of because there's so much effort to put into making a music video. But whether you're just trying to get a video done or make a visualizer or a lyric video, there's a few tropes that you can always follow that are crowd pleasers. So in this video, I'm gonna show you five music video ideas that are easy to make and will go over well with fans. Hi, I'm Jesse Cannon, a music marketing nerd who's teaching musicians how to go from zero to 10,000 fans on YouTube, and this is Museformation. So if you've been watching videos on this channel, you've probably heard me going on and on about how you need to make tons of music videos, and if you've not heard me talk about that, I highly recommend you watch my video on releasing music videos. Since videos are eventful ways to get attention to you and your music, and one of the most effective ways to get new fans. And especially if you're watching this during COVID, you need to do videos on the cheap without a crew and do simple videos that can keep you putting content out in front of fans and potential fans that help you lure new fans into your music. But we do have a benefit during these times with music videos. Since no one's used to going to shows anymore, one of the main ways people are bonding is through content and music videos. So they are all the more powerful today. Fans are also more forgiving that if you're gonna make lo-fi content, they know that that's all that can get done right now because this crisis has made it so it's so hard to shoot videos on a big budget. So with that, let's talk about some content you can easily make that fans are always engaged with. One of the things I always tell people is not everything you make needs to be the highest of high qualities. Yes, it needs to fit with your music emotionally, but that doesn't always mean that you have to sit there and make a Midsommar type metaphor with everything you do. I often didn't think about Lil Peep, and if you watch the documentary about him, you would see that he bought a green screen by buying a sheet on Amazon and then simply put that up and would make videos the second he was done with his songs and just act them out. Now, not everybody can do things this simply, but it does show you that simple content that goes with the song can go a long way. And yes, I think you should try to make the best music videos possible, but I think it's better to make a video that allows fans to bond with you than not make one. So let's talk about these five different music videos that you can make that always work well to bond with fans. The first type of video trope I think of has really surfaced during COVID, which is to get crazy in your own home. There's tons of videos that have gotten really creative with how you make something visually appealing. Some of my favorites in this genre include Kitty, who's a master of this, has made a few great videos in this field, like this one for her song Disconnect. Then there's Kalani, who's been making these quarantine style videos, and as a major label artist, she has a lot of assets, and some of her videos are a great inspiration for what you can do with this, especially if you're the type of person who can lay one hell of a thirst trap. But there's more than just thirst traps. There's tons of videos where you can just have fun in your apartment. This one from Passion Pit is one of my favorites where they just do a lot of creative scenarios to tell the story of the song. And yes, it's very high tech, but you can always draw inspiration from it. And let's not forget OK Go. And while their videos seem cheesy in retrospect, they showed a personality of the band that millions of people bonded with and really set up their career by just getting wild inside a house on a low budget. The second is based on every musician's favorite emoji to put in my DMs, which is fire. Yeah, it sounds dumb, but the visual of fire is a sight to behold even since the caveman days. People love to watch things burn. And whether you're singing in front of a fire or just burning something fun, People love fire in a video and can make for a great visualizer. Just be safe and make sure you do a test run to make sure your camera is adjusted right to capture it. Particularly this video from Oliver Tree where he did a single where he was just standing in front of some fire which is probably on a green screen. It really shows the power of how simple this visual can be to make a song work. Fire! 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 <laughs> There's another fun one that works especially well for multi-instrumentalists or solo artists which is to do a split screen of you having yourself play all of the instruments in the song. This Instagram from Mike and Sella of American Football and Owen is a great example. People always love the visual of seeing the feet of one person playing a lot of instruments in one song. If you could split the screen in creative ways in your video editing software, it's super easy way to make great content that fans enjoy. The next one is especially good for lyric videos, where you just make a real life visual of the lyrics. The classic example is Bob Dylan's Homesick Blues or the In Excess remake of it called Mediate. You can always get creative in the real world, write your lyrics down and film them and put them in sequence, doing something creative, whether it's lining up jelly beans or whatever else will be fun for your audience to watch you do with your lyrics. Lastly, there's always just having fun with a green screen. You can always think of something cool to do with a green screen and have fun in front of it. There's so many ways to get creative with this and all you need to do, like I said with that little Peep video, 
is to just buy a $14 sheet and do something fun in front of it and make sure it's just lit well enough and then get creative with what's gonna be on the screen. That's it. If you have any ideas that you think for great, simple, cheap videos, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.